Lifting marionette wrinkles with two or four elastic threads and removal of the preauricular skin. Marionette wrinkles can be corrected by exerting oblique traction by means of the elastic thread mounted on the atraumatic two-tipped needle. An elastic thread is now implanted to exert traction perpendicularly to the marionette wrinkles. A one centimeter incision is made behind the lobe of the ear and the skin above the fascia of Loray is dissected. A retractor is inserted. The two-tip needle, which has been inserted into the cavity, partially emerges from the preauricular skin. It is then rotated and inclined so as to anchor the elastic thread to the fascia of Loray. In patients with very evident marionette wrinkles and an excess of skin, the two-tip needle is used to implant elastic threads in both sides of the face in such a way as to create two suspension triangles. The excess preauricular skin is removed. As always, the apex of the first isosceles triangle is close to the defect. Once local anesthesia has been carried out, one incision is made behind the lobe of the ear. The tissues immediately above the fascia of Loray are dissected with scissors. A spreader is used to lift the dissected tissues. The two-tipped Jano needle penetrates superficially into the fascia of Loray, anchoring the elastic thread. The needle is partially extracted and then rotated in order to follow the preoperative design. The Jano needle partially emerges close to the marionette wrinkle. It then continues along its pathway, exiting through the entry incision. The elastic threads are placed under tension and knotted. We now create the second triangle, which raises the excess skin toward the preauricular region, where it is removed. Removal of the preauricular skin completes the elastic lifting of marionette wrinkles in patients with evident aesthetic defects. These elastic plastic surgery procedures correct the edge of the jaw and restore the natural harmony of the face. Indeed, it should be borne in mind that the excess skin of the cheeks has repercussions on both the neck and the edge of the jaw. The vertical component of drooping of the inferior third of the face is corrected by treating the medial third by means of elastic lifting and, if the skin at the sideburns can be pinched between two fingers, by means of elastic le max lifting. The elastic lifting of marionette wrinkles corrects the oblique slackness of the facial skin. If there is an excess, the preauricular skin is removed by means of minimal dissection. During the procedure, elastic lifting of the neck with one elastic thread or elastic lifting of the neck with three elastic threads and four safety pins can be carried out through the same skin incisions behind the earlobes. This latter lifting procedure is particularly indicated in patients with very aged neck skin. As is known, the skin of the neck is not dissected the tissues are simply repositioned. This new procedure reduces the vertical wrinkles and the low horizontal wrinkles of the neck without causing unnecessary trophic damage to the tissues. To access this material, you must subscribe to the CRPUBG Medical Video Journal. Subscription is reserved for medical doctors only.